Hey there! Today we're going to be talking about a pen that was uh, lent to me by Joost Applebaum. This is a Scribo. Scribo, you remember that there was the Omas um, employees and then they left uh, Omas. That was a very tragic uh, thing and, and at least Omas was... Anyway, it doesn't matter. These, the old Omas employees, they started their own company. That's the shortest version of the story. And they make this pen, and they've made this pen in about a million different colors and, and, and variants now. Um, this particular one is the Mediterraneo. It is the uh, feel model, Scribo feel, and uh, it's, it's a fun pen. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice size, it's, it's quite comfortable. This particular one is interesting, and that's why I thought I would review this, because this has the 14K flex nib on it, and people go ballistic whenever the word flex is mentioned. So I thought it would be fun. So let's cover the parts of the pen, do a writing sample, and I'll talk about likes and dislikes. Okay, so here we go with the Scribo feel. Uh, this is the Mediterraneo finish, and it's, it comes in this little box. So here we have the box. A simple box has a, an outer sleeve, then there is the actual uh, box in it. Uh, sorry, uh, this this pen case, which I think is quite nice. It's uh, it's uh, it seems to be a canvas uh, leather breed. Um, has a little polishing cloth, which is very nice. Can't get it back in. There we go. And a, sl a slots for two pens, and then it has this leather thong you can use to there we go back together and also in here which I can't get out there we go <clears throat> is the paperwork Scribo feel the writing and a warranty card okay then we have the actual pen I shall zoom in so you can see it better right next to a pilot metropolitan right so it's a fairly large pen and this teal color I thought was actually quite nice this particular incarnation of the pen has a 14k flexible F nib so this is a fine you can also get it with 18 karat extra fine, fine, medium, or broad nibs. The pen, just taking a sip here, the pen was modeled after a Doric column and it has an ebonite feed. So you can see the facets of the column uh, and there's some, something interesting going on with the section. I'll get to that. Let's cover the parts of the pen. So on top we have this quill. Uh, which is very cute. Actual fills, sorry, actual quills had the fletching taken off, so there was not a, a, any hair left on a quill, but if you would use that as a logo, it just looks like a stick. Anyway, moving on. Uh, here we have the clip. The clip is pretty springy. We have a center band that says Scribo on one side and feel the writing on the other side and then here you have these very fine ribs which add a little bit of tactile appeal. The whole pen I think has a nice shape where it is a little bulbous, gets narrower and becomes bulbous and narrower again. A band there and the piston turning knob. It is an actual piston filler and, uh, and that's all there's to it. So I'm not going to twist that because the pen is inked up. The cap, whoops, the cap unscrews and then we have the section. The section is quite interesting. I'll just try to make it catch light the right way. As you can see it's faceted near the nib end but then it ends up as a rounded section near the end. There is a fairly substantial step down as you can see from the section. Um, I have never really been bothered by it because I also find these sections fairly long. Again, this is a little bit reminiscent of Omar's pens. We have a metal ring there. Always make sure you wipe that well because this is in contact with the ink so that this is a place where parts corrode. Then we have the 
actual nib. It is laser engraved with Feel the Flex and Scribble, and it has an actual engraving that says 14K585 and F for fine. We have the famous ebonite feed, and that is pretty much all there is to it. It's a larger pen, and it does not post. Okay, let's see how it writes. Sorry, I didn't flip the page yet. I'm doing it now. Okay, let me zoom out so you can actually see what I'm doing. That would help. Scribble feel. I won't write down Mediterraneo if you don't mind. Flex, this was the 14K. And this is the highly peculiar Schaefer Green. I'm not sure how I feel about this ink. It has nice shading, but it's, in my mind, more a teal than a green. But I thought that would kind of match this pen. Okay, I'm going to do some normal writing. There is no pressure exerted on the pen. And as you can see, it has a nice flow. Do some fast writing. There's definitely feedback. It is a finer nib. And you definitely feel that feedback as you write. Um, for me, this is at the point where it's almost scratchy. Nice and wet though. Um, and that's, that's just the way it is. I find it on the scratchier end of things. But I'm using it without any pressure. When I start to exert pressure, and I want to be very, very careful here. In the past, I have sprung an Omas Extra Flexible nib. And this reminds me a lot of that because these nibs are very soft. I could push it farther than that, but I will not do that. That you can do something does not mean you also should do that thing. Okay? So... A hundred percent are you able to get a nice amount of line variation out of this, which does run from a finer line to something wider. Yeah, still... I still can't do that thing that, that flex people do. I, I don't know how to do that. Anyway, um, it's pretty sweet. Uh, reverse writing. Becomes very scratchy and pretty dry to the point of the nib becoming illegible or its, its ink flow becoming illegible. Um, not great. But it's already a fine nib. Why don't we have a chat about what I like and what I don't like about this pen? What do I like, what do I not like about the Scribo Feel Mediterraneo? I think it has a couple of things going for it. It's a larger pen, the facets are a lot of fun. The eye for detail in the section that starts off faceted then becomes more rounded is nice. There is definitely a step down from the barrel. I have not been bothered by it, but some people might be, because it is, it is quite a step down, as you can see. I'm actually trying to make that focus. It is quite a step down, right? Uh, there's no posting, which is fine for me, because it's, it's, again, it's a pretty big pen to begin with. I find the facets comfortable. It's piston-filled, and it has an ebonite feed, and basically, for all intents and purposes, an Omas nib, right? It's, uh, I think they took the... the um, the nib making machine, the feed making machine, so it's, it's pretty much an Omas nib and feed and the Omas nibs were incredibly nice. I like all that. I also don't mean to be disparaging about they have made so many different finishes of this pen. It's, it's a fun pen, so it's interesting to have all those different finishes, which kind of also makes them collectible. I like all that. Things I don't like so much. There is no ink window and it is not really easy for an end user to disassemble this pen, so if you need to lube up the piston or something, all you have really is try to pull the nib and feed very carefully and, and, and get to the uh, piston through the, through the section. I have not tried it, 
I have not had need to try it, but that's that's probably what I would try should I really need to lubricate the piston. Otherwise, I would have to send it back to Bologna. Uh, the ink window, lacking ink window is a bit of an issue because you simply have no clue how much ink is in this pen. And that is always a little fiddly uh, because you just, you just don't know, right? As to the flex nib, because that's what people are most interested in. And again, that's why I kind of want to do this review, even though I have reviewed the feel model a couple times before. At least once before, but I think a couple times. The flex nib in my mind is nice. I am always worried. Omas had those extra flexible nibs at some point. I, I sprung one almost immediately. Um, they are very, very, very soft. And as a result, I always want to be very, very, very careful with these nibs. This one seems to perform well. It seems to snap back reasonably well. Uh, not as fast as a, as a dip nib would, uh, but it's really not bad. You for sure get a nice amount of line variation out of it. So from that perspective, if that's what you're looking for, you definitely have a very good option for flex, I would say, with this particular nib. And that's pretty much all there's to it. I think it's a solid pen, uh, a size and shape that works for a lot of people, um, and it writes well. It writes well. I, I think I'm yet to see a Scribo that does not write properly. They, they do have that, that Omas nib magic. That's just very pleasant to use. So there you have it. Hope this was useful. A very kind thank you to Joost for lending me the pen. And that's it. I'll gladly see you later.